Um, so there is a heat wave going on in Texas right now. <laughs> and it's like literally, let me see, how hot is it outside right now? 105 degrees. I feel like that is normal for Texas, but it's gonna get hotter on, oh, it's gonna get hotter next week. It's gonna be 107. Fantastic. <laughs> Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Leanna. I'm so excited for you guys to be here. So from the title of the video, you guys can probably already guess what we're going to be doing today. And today, that is, we're going to be doing 12 healthy habits in a day. Yes, in a day. I've seen a lot of YouTubers do this and I thought, why not, why not create a video and make it my own? So that's what we're going to do. Y'all, it is time to get out of our lazy era. We gotta we gotta we gotta focus i don't know for some reason i feel like i went through like a weird phase and now i'm just kind of like all right i i need to get stuff done like i need to get my life together by the end of this video i can guarantee you that these healthy habits are going to literally help you turn your life around and help you get your life together i feel like these habits are literally game changers and i'm so excited to share these with you guys so without further ado let's get on to the video Oh my gosh, you guys, it is so early. First habit of the day, we just checked off, is waking up early. It is currently 6.16 a.m. If anyone knows me knows that I tend to wake up early, whether it's 5 a.m., whether it's 5.30. Today I woke up at 5.45, and sometimes I wake up at 6. Waking up early for me, I get things done, and by the time I get off work, I don't really have to do much. And I like that. I don't like working out at night, so this is the only time that I'll go to the gym, and I know that. People always ask me, how do you wake up early in the morning? And growing up as a kid, I have a very productive mom, and so she doesn't really let me sleep in late ever. One thing that helps me when waking up early in the morning is I don't get on my phone. The only time I get on my phone is to turn off my alarm clock and look at the time. And then I just kind of put it on my nightstand and I go and get ready. We're about to be at the gym, so I will see you guys guys inside <laughs> I tried filming in the sauna but since it was so hot like my camera kept fogging up I can't really speak too much about the sauna and what it has done for me because I just started like I think like two weeks ago honestly for two weeks I think it's been helping me like my muscles aren't as sore after the gym I feel a lot looser which leads me to my other habits I stretch every time I go to the gym obviously stretching has its benefits like mobility when you work out and stuff you don't want to hurt yourself I'm like trying to carry everything into my house this is everything that I have so I changed into this top. I think it's really, really cute. I got it from Forever 21 and then I'm wearing yoga pants. You can't really see it. I'm gonna be on Zoom call all day today. So I figured why not wear something cute. It's currently 8.18. I have less than 15 minutes to get online. But before I do get online, I like to take my vitamins. I love these. These are so yummy. I wish I could eat the whole bottle, but obviously that is not really healthy. So I look forward to this every morning because it's just a highlight of my day. It's the highlight of my morning, right? Packaging is cute. The gummies are just super good. Tastes like candy. And then I go in with some iron. I just take maybe like two. No, sorry, one. I'm still trying to figure out what else I can take like vitamin C or like vitamin E, vitamin D, I don't know. But I feel like everything that I really, really need is kind of all in these gummies. It just helps with metabolism, bone and immune support. And then I drink some water. I used to struggle with trying to drink a lot of water, but ever since I've been supplementing all the sugary drinks with just water. In the beginning, it was actually really hard. Like it was a struggle, but now that I've been doing it for like a month and a half, I just crave water 
all the time now like i don't even i don't even think about coffee as much as i used to i'm actually really proud of myself that i did that because now not only did i save a lot of money because the coffees that i'd be getting were like seven dollars also helping my health and cutting out all the toxins from just like all the extra caffeine that i was putting in my body i could probably start heading into work because i have a zoom call in like six minutes so i'll see you guys very soon before work or even between work, I like to take 15 minute breaks throughout my work days just to jot down some things that I need to say to myself or things that I want to let go of. Whenever I catch myself complaining about anything in life or whenever I feel any negative emotions, feelings, whatever, I kind of just jot it down on my journal and it's like honestly like therapy for me. I feel like having a journal is kind of like an outlet. So yeah, that is why I keep the journal with me at all times. So I actually have to get back online in a few minutes, but I'll see you guys when I get off. Okay, so I am finally off of work. It's been a long day, so there's no better time than to do a meditation than now. I'm going to show you guys what meditations I do. This one that I've been doing is the 10 minute journey to inner peace ever since i started doing meditations i feel so much more at peace I feel like it reduces my stress makes me feel grounded so i'm gonna go do this meditation real quick and then i'll get back to you guys after now that i'm done with my meditation it started to get a little hot and i'm wearing all black so time to change i'm going to be changing into my sports bra and my blue shorts i'll see you guys after so first things first you guys can already guess what we're going to be doing i'm going to be making a green juice i don't have all the ingredients that i usually make my green juice with but that is okay because all i really need is celery and lime and it works and it's really good actually and i enjoy it so this is something that i just love doing i need to figure out how to Okay, so the benefits of green juice is that it helps boost the metabolism of energy. It supports your immune system. It improves digest. It improves digestion, and it helps detoxify. I'm not really a big vegetable fan. Like I don't really like vegetables, but I find it a lot easier for me to have vegetables in my diet when I just kind of juice it. So instead of just juicing it every single day, kind of just put it in like a pitcher and have it for like a week and I'll just drink it like maybe one glass or something. I like to do it in the mornings. I feel like it just gives me more energy too. Like it's like a like an energy boost. Bonsoir, je suis Liana, como ça va? It's currently 8 p.m. and what I like to focus on before heading to bed is learning a new language. And I know everyone's probably wondering why are you trying to learn a new language? Why not? I've been wanting to learn French for a while. I think it's super cool. I think the language is cool. I think the culture is cool. I guess in my mindset, I feel like a year from now, I want to be able to say that I accomplished something. And I feel like learning a new language is a big accomplishment. I challenge myself. I want to put myself out there and just learn new things, really. So I, I hope the people that can speak French who are watching this video isn't getting offended with my pronunciation. I'm working on it. I promise I'm working on it. I'm going to try and learn how to speak it correctly even though it's like really really hard but i'm gonna try my best that's all that matters say say a habit that i really like to do before i go to bed i i haven't really been good at this i've been sleeping at like midnight and i have to wake up at like well i wake up technically at 5 6 a.m ish which is really bad because that's like what five hours of sleep i noticed that the reason why i stay up so late is because i'm always scrolling on my phone and i noticed that the only way for me to stop it is to pick up a book and actually read it when you read books like these like things that you can learn from and things that you can take information from you're just basically intaking everything you read in this book into your brain like i feel like that's so cool the most successful people in the world read at least 60 books a year. It is July and I've only read five. If you can actually read that, I applaud you. That's really cool. I think that's super impressive. I 
last habit that I want to share with you guys for today is basically shutting off my phone at a certain time. It is currently 9.54, so I have six minutes of just being on my phone. Now I've been trying to actually force myself to shut my phone off, put it on do not disturb, leave it on my nightstand, not touching it, and just reading a book. I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you guys want to see more videos like this, please let me know because I would love to continue filming videos like these about self-growth, self-development, self-love, all the good things. I want to make the most out of my life. I want to learn as much as I can, especially at my age. If you guys don't think any of these habits are any good, you guys can always go on Google and search up habits that can work with you guys. But for me, these are the habits that work for me. My camera's about to die, so I'm going to try to finish this outro. Thank you guys guys so much for watching today's video it means the absolute world to me if you guys haven't already please like comment and subscribe for more videos like this and i'll see you guys in my next video bye